The gospel that is proclaimed to us this weekend, the gospel that Jesus gave to his own disciples, is somewhat hard to take into comprehension. Because when we think about wealth, we think about monetary wealth. But my dear brothers and sisters, each of us in our own ways have many riches, psychologically, emotionally, academically, and yet Jesus tells us that it's very difficult to enter into that kingdom with all the riches of this world. And so, we have to follow in his direction, the way that he gives us the way to eternal life. Many times we hear that adage, <clears throat> we were born into this world with nothing, and when we leave this world, we leave everything behind. How true that is. But I think what Jesus is telling us in this message of his today is that we have to be rich in the treasures of the kingdom that he proclaims. Rich, especially with hope. Hope for that kingdom. Love that gives us the eternal life that the Father expects all of us. To love him, especially with our whole hearts, our whole minds, our whole souls. To love our neighbors as we love ourselves. This is the wealth of the kingdom. And then the ultimate part of this wealth that we must possess is faith. Faith in the one who gives us the assurance of eternal life in that kingdom that is promised us by his cross and resurrection. My dear friends, I think that the wealth that we possess in this world has to be utilized each and every day for the promotion of that kingdom that Christ has prepared for us, sharing it with one another, giving of ourselves freely as Christ selflessly gave himself to the entire world for all ages and all times. As a matter of fact, we must be the living Christ in the world. He who gave up everything in his life so that we may have eternal life and in, and, in, and in essence, then, we have eternal life with him who has saved us. Let's live the gospel. Let's be rich in Jesus' word. Let us leave all else aside, but make sure that Jesus Christ is always Lord and Savior. Together now, we profess our 